our time just making it work with people. We ever like, oh man, I got that kind of person in my life. But what what does it take to build something like this? Lots of people. And this, oh my goodness, my son this morning, he was like, I need to take it. Oh, you made me a tennis ball. Oh, you made a ball again. <laughs> so that's why it wasn't here with me earlier today because it had to go back home and get into a protective place and come safe. And that's what our lives need to be like. We work together, we create something awesome, and we value all the people in it. It's special, it's complicated, and it's hard to duplicate, right? And that's kind of what life is like. I'm going to leave a thought with you. This is tender to me. My daughter has dyslexia. A couple of years ago, my, my daughter has dyslexia, which means everything is hard to learn. She doesn't see numbers the same way. She could not read. I already told you about my boys. They're exceptionally bright. They make up their own languages. They were in the same grade, right? I'm going to say this with my daughter. She doesn't fit in in a lot of spaces. She doesn't match the same structure as the other Legos in life. She came home one, one day from school. She said, I'm going to ask Santa Claus to make me smarter for Christmas. Mm -hmm. We took her out of school and homeschooled her until she could learn to read. A couple years later, it took her two years. Now she's at school the most confident kid on the planet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She is the top reader in her class. She figured it out. When people would say, why aren't you in school? She's like, my teacher didn't know how to work my brain. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So now she comes home last week, and she says, they're doing the science fair project. And she has this great idea. Part of dyslexia is her eyes are weird, and they tire out really quickly, and she, she doesn't see things right way. But I fully believe that when you have a disability, your other abilities are strengthened and compensate for it. We took those two years to build her confidence that she could read, because she could learn a different way. She's just a different Lego piece. She's going to bring something exciting to someone's creation somewhere sometime. She came home from school with the Science Fair Project idea that had been kind of passed through the teacher. Yes, that's a great idea, let's go figure it out. But you don't really have the resources or the time to study the brain in a way to figure out what's wrong with your eyes and fix it. She wanted to fix it. Sweetheart, you don't need to fix anything. That's a blessing. If you fix people who are different they're going to be missing out on blessings. And she says, oh, that's just like my dyslexia. All right, Mom, I don't need it fixed. That's awesome. No one is broken. No one needs to be fixed. People will tell us in life, you're too different. I can't relate to you. You don't fit in my creation or my pyramid. Maybe they want to build something different, but that doesn't mean you're broken. The differences are what hold us together and make us stronger. The differences in life is what makes us something fun, something exciting, something precious and valuable. If you are having a hard time figuring out how to get your importance goal met, take a step back. Take care of what
what needs to be done to support your base so that you can naturally be carried together. Thank you for being here. Thank you for playing Legos with me.